In the previous video, we talked about the count dimensions, the consolidation operators, and data storage. We'll move on to the entity dimension and see if we can get in the next dimension as well. So the entity dimension, what it basically is, is your different regions. So if you look here, we have, it's your base, it's your different regions and your different cost centers. So if we, if we look here, we have our e-total, our total entity. Um, and then we have our finance sector and finance and accounting center. Under that, we have finance, accounting, and then our different cost centers for each. And all these are set as, as never share. But once we come down here, we have a double hierarchy, which is set up as a region. So we have the different regions now. We have North America. Uh, underneath North America, we have United States. Um, and then we have U.S. East Coast and whatnot. And these members, which are the same cost centers as we saw above, are set up as shared. So this is what a shared member is used for. It's, it's, it's shared with... It's, it's shared implicitly. So we already talked about all of our consolidation operators and our data storage operators earlier, two pass calculations, smart list. We talked about all this, UDA that comes later. So that's basically what the entity dimension is. Um, let's go on to our scenario. So what our scenario is, is it, it sets up. So it's either the actual, the budget for, or the forecast uh, sheets. So, all these will be set up as store. We've talked about consolidation data storage operators. We've got smart lists. These are start year, end year, because these are time periods um, for the actual budget and uh, forecast. So this will be set up how you will need it, end period, start period. That is our scenario. Now we have period. So our period is our quarters, and underneath our quarters, we obviously have our months. Uh, this is pretty self-explanatory as well. We have store for the months. The data values will be stored, and then once we get up to the quarter, the, it's dynamic calc, so it'll consolidate or it's, it'll aggregate up into the year total, and these all will ag aggregate up as well. As well, sorry. So data type unspecified, pretty self-explanatory, and finally we have version. So our version is our we have our working version or our final version, which are the main ones that we usually have, and then we have target as well. Uh, which is used for something else in this um, in this dimension. So we'll talk about that later. So we have our different members, the working and final. And what these do is we have our working sheet that we work on and then our final sheet that we're done with to label it. So one example of label only is the V type, which is used just to label as the highest hierarchy. Then underneath that, we have our different members. So this is our highest member. And then under that, we have level zero. So store, never shared. Um, so we have, diff this is a little bit different. We have standard, we'll refresh this so we get. We got standard, uh, bottom up and then target. So bottom up, what it does is when you type in uh, the values that are you're given. So uh, each month you type in the certain values that you'd like, it shows you what the end value would be. But target is more used so that you can type in a target value that you'd like, say $100,000 in revenue for the year. Uh, what will you have to What will you have to get in the earlier years based on different different variables or earlier months based on different variables? And all these are more complicated that will come in later. So those are the other dimensions that you'll need to know and that you'll be working on in the smart list. Uh, we'll continue with forms in the next video.